Hi guys, so welcome to the library. You would have come into class in our back room, but COVID-19 happened, so that kind of derailed that. So we're still gonna do introduction to the library, and I'm gonna show you how to use our website. Um, so first off, you wanna be on our library page. You can access this two ways from your course. Um, so you can come to jscc.edu backslash library. Um, if you're on our main page, you can access, if you're on the Jackson State main page, you can access it via academics and library. And if you are in eLearn, you can access it up here by campus resources. And you just click Jackson State Library. And there we go. So um, I'll just show you a few things, just some housekeeping stuff. So uh, I come to about the library and library staff. These are everyone in the library who's more than happy to help you. Um, here's my information. My email is rslagle at jscc.edu. And that is the best way to get a hold of me. I do have a phone number you can call or text. And I will be saying that also to your professor, but I will show it to you just real quick. Show, there you go. So it's 731-227-2790, and you can call or text me anytime, and I will contact you back. We also have, when you're in your class, so uh, I'm just going to show you another comm class. You can, there's also this chat, library chat that you can use, and you can ask us questions. We run that from 8 to 4.30, Monday through Friday. If you do chat, if you do send an email when we're not, if you do try to chat when we're not on, it will just go straight to our email and we'll answer it as we get them. Um, so a lot of you are going to do speeches on controversial issues maybe, or your first topic is going to be off, your informative, it will be off of your, a different type of speech style or yeah, different types of, different types of speeches. I believe um so the but really good information to like databases to use is one is opposing viewpoints and you can access right off our website or you can also come to so there's like three ways you can do it you can access the featured resources you can come into these boxes and type in what your work what your um think what you're doing your research on if you know it's going to be a journal, you can just go ahead and search journals. You know it's going to be an ebook, and or you know it's going to be you just want to search in journal. You can do it that way. And I'm gonna in my second video, I'll do examples of doing research and how we why we research and how we form our, our hypothesis question and such. So you can come into library journals and you can find based on the topic you're looking at or so a lot of the journals you'd be using are just going to be general interest, and so it's like a broad band of different fields. Um, Academic Search Elite is a really good website, or sorry, database to use. You can also come in and access different ebooks. Um, Hathi Trust is a lot of the books have been published prior to 1920, so if you're doing a topic that you're ha maybe having trouble finding stuff that's an older to like it has an older research. Um, you might want to come to Hathi Trust. Okay, that's right. So what I was looking for was viewing all of our, our journals we subscribe to and databases digitally or alphabetically. So you can come in and view them all. So the other one you guys will want to see is contra well, controversial. If there is one more way to do it. It's there. There we go. Issues and controversies, so you can access it that way. Good to know. Um, oh yeah, there. We also there is a great libguide y'all have access to, and I know your professor will be linking it off of, I believe your page, like your class page. But you can also access it in the library. So you'd come to research help and do libguides, and it is listed here by the title of your class. And it just has a lot of different stuff I've already talked about, different resources. Um, you can schedule an appointment with us. 
and that would be through email or on the phone or through Zoom ahead of time. Oh yeah, and lastly, I forgot to do this one. So Credo Reference is also a fantastic website, database, sorry I keep saying website, um, where you can come and look up and get like background information on any topic you're researching. So if we were doing, I'm just going to do this real quick, if we were doing interpersonal, interpersonal communication, sorry I can't spell, it will tell you where it's coming from. And since you're in communications, you will want it from a communication standpoint. So you'd probably want to come into this uh, media directory dictionary of media and communication services, studies, studies, sorry. And it outlines, defines, um, it also gives you a model. And then it also has it cited real quick. Also, I'm going to show you one more thing. So Purdue OWL, you can come and for when you're citing, when you're doing your um, references page, and also, yeah, when you're doing your annotated references page, you'll need to come here and look on how to cite an APA. Right, so they just made a switch from the seventh edition to the, or from the sixth edition to the seventh edition back in October, but we're still using the sixth edition. So you need, I don't, you need to come and click here to get the sixth edition. So now it's in sixth edition. And depending on your source, you can come and figure out how to cite, like if it's an ebook, a journal, a print book, a website, any of those things. There is also a sample paper which has an example of what your reference page looks like or can look like. I don't know what it would look like with your um annotated part but this is how it would look if you're writing a paper in APA. It looks like they also have an example of doing it in a slide. So when you're doing a slideshow, if you're doing like a, well actually if you're doing a speech and you have a slide to go with it, I'm not sure if that's required or what is required with your speech. Um, so yeah, there's just some different stuff there. And in our next video, I will talk about why we do research. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye.